Now for a closer look at that, Afghanistan supplies 93% of the world's opium and the drug is one of the main sources of funding for the resurgent Taliban movement. But the government's renewed campaign against opium production has had unintended consequences by hurting local farmers and driving an already marginal economy to the brink of economic collapse. Mike Patterson has that story. The economy of Sharan al-Kash in Badakistan province nearly ground to a halt last year when the government began aggressively enforcing a ban on opium production. Villagers were told they would no longer be permitted to plant their only cash crop. Now the village's shops are empty and local farmers are deep in debt. Entire communities risk spiraling into poverty. Our dealings were in opium, not cash. We gathered opium and outside traders came to collect it. Now there is no opium, there are no traders, and nobody from outside comes. Nothing happens, and we have removed the scales from our businesses. In government-held areas like Sharan, opium production has been drastically reduced, but at the cost of the livelihoods of thousands of people. The villagers say they did as they were told, planting their fields with wheat, barley, mustard, and melons. But most of the wheat fields yielded little because the farmers could not afford fertilizer. What should I do with these weeds? I can give this to the animals, but what should I eat myself? When we were growing poppies, this piece of land would yield 14 kilos of opium, and we can earn enough to last us for two or three years. When Sharan's farmers were ordered to stop planting poppies, they were promised help from the government. Assistance has indeed arrived, but it is being used to build clinics, schools, roads, and bridges. But farmers say that a distant clinic or bridge is not going to feed their children. And the crackdown is unlikely to do much to stop the flow of money to the Taliban. In areas of the country under Taliban control, opium production continues unabated. 98% of Afghanistan's opium is now grown in just seven of the country's 34 provinces, all areas under partial or total Taliban control. Mike Patterson, CCTV.